Maria's Indian Adventure. Today we are going to install the LED Pathfinder driving lights to the Indian Challenger. We would need the following items. We have the light kit assembly here, some screws, some Allen wrenches, Torx bit, some pins that came with the light assembly. And first, we're going to remove the fairing, which we already did. And to figure out how to remove your fairing, please watch my video on the installation of the heated grips. It was approximately halfway through that video where we show how to remove the fairing. Okay, first is to assemble the lights. And what we need to do is to attach the ring to the bulb assembly. So first you have to line up that just a little lip, little notch here, to that little notch there. And once that's lined up, you have to put three pins, one here, one there, and one on the other side. So these pins would go inside the ring. So this squarely bit here is always on the right and this is on the left. So what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna go in and push it in and then push the other side in. Push the left side in first and then push the right side in. And then once they get caught there, that means it's installed. Do the other side, same procedure. Left side first. And then right side. And then you, after the two is in, you kind of have to push it a little bit towards the, them so you have space for your pin for the last side. There. After that, it's secured. Make sure that this notch here is still on that lip. The lip is still on that notch. And then you attach the bucket. So what you need to do is you line up the hole. You line up this hole to that hole. So we're gonna feed you right there. You have to attach that part. This is kind of like just trying to make sure that this fits together snugly and with the holes aligned. Then you'll use this tiny screw with a green um, tip, feed that in. Then you need a Torx bit number 25 and screw it. And there you go, you get the assembly. Next, we are going to attach the control module to the plate here, which this one slides in. But before that, we have to unplug the harness connector, which is located right here. See this? Harness connector is going to attach to the here, and this is just attached to a blank spot. So to do that, you have to push, clip, and pull. So 
So we're going to feed this upwards. And underneath here, maybe under over. No, it should be underneath. That won't go. Now that we have this harness connector up, tr up through, we are going to connect it to the module and then we slide it in to the slots here. Line up the hole and then screw it using a Torx bit 25 again. We have to unplug this assembly here. This would connect then to the connector to the driving light. So we, are. So we ran the wiring assembly left to right with the left side being the longest one looking at it when you're on the bike. And so we just kind of follow some holes and grooves to where we can shove it into this hole and then the, the wire comes out here where the bulb assembly is going to be. Same thing as on the right side. We ran it towards the hole and here's the end of it where we're going to plug it to where the bulb assembly is going to be. So the connector, I'm going to put it in. And just tuck it in right there. Next is we are going to mount the bulb assembly. Now we need to remove the screws right here on the frame and here on the inside of it so we can mount the bracket that holds the bulb and its assembly. We are using a 13 millimeter socket to do that. It is quite long. Right there. And then the other one. Then we are going to mount the bulb assembly to the bracket first and then we attach it here. So for that, So what we did is we attach the bulb here using the bolt that was provided and the torque screw. Now we it's there loosely so we can make adjustment to its positioning. So we are going to slide it in with the holes facing up, not like this. 
not like this but the other way right here so do that and use the allen screw that was provided with the mount the mounting bracket other one and finger screw it the other way too and start cranking it in we need a smaller we need a smaller one Then we are going to attach the switch assembly. this way. Right there. Then we're gonna tighten this knot here that holds the light bulb. Straighten up the wheel. Look at that. Hold the knot in. good we're gonna do the same thing on the other side we are going to remove the blank um, switch um, using mallet and a screwdriver we have to reach through a tiny hole over here and up there and just gently tap it So we can install the so we can install the switch. Switch in, feed it in the hole. then attach the switch to this switch to this harness connector here 
and that's it it is there now we are gonna go test to see if the lights would come on the next step we're gonna put the fairing back on put the fairing back on and the switch lits up the switch lits up however we need a, digi a digital wrench to perform the vehicle control module update and that's going to be done with uh, through the dealership the bike is back from the dealership um, the digital wrench is done to sync uh, the lights to the bike I'm going to insert a clip that shows how it looks like when the light is off and when the light is on. Now we're going to show how bright this thing is um, it certainly increased visibility um, driving down the road especially at night and also visibility for other motorists i hope this video is helpful uh, please like and subscribe and as we go through the winter months we're gonna go look for uh, more content and hope you enjoy. See you.